second and four own 48 Foreman explodes for 16 yards. The Bears came into this game having surrendered fewer points than anyone in the National Football League. But Foreman got a touchdown early for them. Sammy White on a special team on a punt return from the Chicago 40 down to the 10 yard line as the Vikes went on the march again. But after this punt return the Bears stiffened a bit on defense and Minnesota had to settle for a field goal. Cox will kick it 30 yards out. It made it 10-0 at that point. Minnesota came back with the ball. Third and 20 of the Chicago 45. Here's where the Bears should not have eased up, and they did. Tarkenton got Sammy wide open. They pick up the first down down at the Chicago six-yard line. He's run out of bounds. Foreman got the second touchdown. That is 17-0 took advantage of the Dolphins' poorest pass defense in their first touchdown drive as quarterback Burt Jones does a fine job of scrambling and he hits on a 19-yarder to tight end Raymond Chester. And once again, Baltimore with the football and it was a 13-yard pass from Jones to running back Lydell Mitchell coming out of the backfield and he gets a pretty good game before Jarris White drops him. And then once again, Jones to the air and he hits Glenn Dowdy with a 17-yard completion down to the Dolphin 8-yard line. The 55-yard drive was capped by a Don McCauley burst from one yard out and the Baltimore Colts get on the scoreboard. The Dolphins came back, helped by this 47-yard kickoff return by rookie Gary Davis, number 27 out of Cal, Lu Cal Poly, uh, San Luis Obispo. He does a good job breaking some tackles, and he gets up to the 49-yard line before being brought down. And it was Bob Greasy hitting Norm Boulash, number 31, with a screen pass coming out of the backfield. as a 25-yard pickup for the Big Boos, having uh, one of his best starts ever. Runs into his own player right there, but he still managed a pretty good game. Greasy then has to do some scrambling as he can't find an open receiver, and he gets down to the one-yard line before being knocked down. He was safe at second base on that one right there, and they went on to score. Boulash scored on the next play. The Colts again went to the air and scored in this 10-yard pass from Jones to Glenn Dowdy, beating Jarris White into the end zone. Jones continued his success, picking apart the Dolphins' secondary. He finds Lydell Mitchell once again out of the backyard, and this pass good for 14 yards. Mitchell does a pretty good job running with the ball after making the completion. Then Jones once again to his tight end, Raymond Chester, the former Oakland Raider. His pass good for 18 yards. Chester had an outstanding day, over 100 yards in receptions. But it was Jones getting the touchdown on a seven-yard run around right end for a 21-7 Baltimore halftime lead, and he barely got into the end zone as Charlie Babb was trying to knock him out. With the help of a pass interference call, the Colts came out in the second half with uh, another touchdown drive. And uh, Don McCauley, the running back out of North Carolina, capped that with a one-yard plunge once again to make it 28 to 7, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and a very long afternoon indeed for the Miami Dolphins. After cutting the margin to 28-14, the Dolphins had some breaks but couldn't capitalize. They recovered a fumble at midfield early in the fourth quarter. And then they drove down to the Baltimore Colt 13-yard line. But Earl Morrill's four attempts to get the football into the end zone failed. He does a good job staying in the pocket. But the pass falls short as Nat Moore slipped in the end zone, something that happened quite often yesterday. The Dolphins got down to the Colts 10, but once again, four attempts at scoring failed. Morrill, once again, hanging tough in the pocket for a 42-year-old guy, but he just can't get it in there. The Dolphin defense did its job in the second half, holding Baltimore just three yards net in passing and giving the offense several chances to score. But it wasn't to be as the Baltimore Colts held on to a 28-14 victory over the Miami Dolphins.